Hello, my name is Marian Olpinski, MD, PhD, a pediatrician working in Chicago suburbs. Today, I want to talk to you about two numbers, CFR and IFR, which are constantly misused now during this COVID-19 pandemic. And at the end of this lecture, I hope you will be convinced that COVID-19 is not the flu. To start, we have to define CFR and IFR. So CFR, which stands for case fatality ratio, is the ratio of the number of deaths divided by the number of confirmed, preferably by nucleic acid testing, cases of disease so CFR equals number of deaths and divided by number of confirmed cases. IFR, which stands for infection fatality ratio, is the ratio of deaths divided by number of actual infections with SARS cough 2. IFR equals number of deaths divided by number of actual cases, including those mild and asymptomatic. Let's calculate let's calculate the case fatality ratio from for New York State for today. CFR number of deaths, 21,291. We have to divide by number of confirmed cases, which is 277,445, which gives us the case fatality ratio for New York State, 7.5. 6%. To calculate IFR for New York State, we need to the number of actual cases, including those mild and asymptomatic. And we can do that because a few days ago, the results of a study looking for antibodies for SARS-CoV-2 was published. It was performed on 3,000 citizens of New York State and it was done in 19 counties, 40 different locations and it was randomized. People leaving grocery shops in those locations were asked to participate. 13.9% of those 3,000 tested happened to be positive, which means that they already were infected with the virus. Extrapolating 13.9% to entire population of New York State, which is, as we said, 19.4 million, gives us the number of potential cases of COVID-19 which is 2,696,600. Having this number, we can now calculate IFR, which, as you see here, is 0.78%. So, infection fatality ratio for New York State is 10 times lower than case fatality ratio, which is a very known fact. Well, now let's try to find published data about case fatality ratio for flu. The last flu pandemic happened in 2009 and was caused by H1N1 virus, flu virus, known also as swine flu. 
In this New England Journal of Medicine paper from May 6, 2010, we can find this number. It is 0.048%. 0.048%. But most commonly used CFR number for influenza is now 0.1%, and I actually don't know where it comes from. To calculate infection fatality rate, IFR, for the same influenza pandemic from 2009, I had to find a number of actual cases, and I found it here in this paper published in 2011 in Clinical Infectious Diseases Journal, which estimates that almost 61 million of Americans, Americans suffered from H1N1 flu in 2009 and almost 12,500 died. The range, you can see this, those were, those were average numbers. Knowing those numbers allows us to calculate IFR, which is 0.02%. What I see now almost all the time is comparing CFR to IFR, and we can't do it because those are two complete, completely different things, completely different numbers. Let's assume that CFR for H1N1 2009 influenza in New York State was similar to the number in all USA, which was, as you remember, 0.048%. And we can even increase it to the most quoted number now, which is, as I said, 0.1%. And as we already calculated, CFR for COVID-19 in New York State is 7.6%. CFR for H1N1 flu from 2009 is between this number from the paper in clinical infectious diseases, which was 0.048% to 0.1%, which is the most quoted number. But even if we take this most quoted number, 0.1%, COVID-19 is 76 times deadlier than flu, because we have to compare CFR to CFR. Let's compare now IFRs for COVID and flu. As we calculated earlier, IFR for COVID-19 for New York State is now 0.78%. IFR for 2009 H1N1 flu, according to the paper I showed you earlier, is, was 0.02%. So if we divide 0.78% by 0.02%, it gives us the number 39, which means that comparing IFRs, COVID-19 is at least close to 40 times deadlier than flu. Let's stop comparing apples to oranges. It's unacceptable. It is not just a flu. So please stay home. Thank you very much.